cancer patients, transplant patients, adults living with Down syndrome, they're being left behind by what's currently happening in our state. Under the governor's executive order, people younger than 65 who are extremely vulnerable to the virus are eligible to get vaccinated, but that's not happening. ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith uncovers the new push to vaccinate some of Florida's most vulnerable. My wife had a sticker, a decal on the back of her car that said my husband needs a kidney. November 2019, a chance encounter lands Patrick Nelson a life-saving gift. And we had some gentlemen drive behind her one day and then turned around and followed her home and said, hey, my name's Alan. I have a kidney. That transplant plus open heart surgery and diabetes all put Nelson in the high-risk category for COVID-19. It's very deadly for us. Nelson's story is like so many others who are allowed right now to receive the coronavirus vaccine. The state says hospitals can administer the vaccine to those younger than 65 with two or more serious health conditions. Cancer patients, transplant patients, adults living with Down syndrome, they're being left behind by what's currently happening in our state. Representative Carlos Smith sent this letter to hospitals urging them to quickly establish public criteria for how those extremely vulnerable to COVID-19 who are under the age of 65 can be eligible for vaccination. But that's not happening in practice. I think part of that is because the state has very poorly communicated and implemented the vaccine plan. As the state focuses on vaccinating health care workers and those 65 and up, Nelson says he'll be ready when his time comes. Nobody knows what's going to come next. Um, and people like us that really need it, you know, we'd like answers as well. And tonight I checked in with several hospitals in Tampa Bay and found so far only Tampa General Hospital has outlined specific medical conditions for those under 65 to receive the vaccine. Some of those include cancer, diabetes, heart disease, chronic kidney disease, or an organ transplant. In Tampa, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.